Hey there nifty nerds, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you guys how to apply white face makeup properly. First off, sorry about the voiceover, our bathroom fan is tied to the light switch making it a noisy environment for recording. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Start with a clean makeup free face, if you have long hair or bangs, secure it out of the way. For products, you're going to want a white cream makeup. I'm using the Cream Blend Stick from Mayron in white, of course. You'll want a beauty blender or makeup sponge. I am using a setting powder from Mayron, the Ultra White. And you're going to want a powder brush. To begin, we'll generously apply our cream makeup to our face. For this tutorial, I'll just be doing half of my face. I'll also be skipping my eyes and lips as those require black makeup for my specific costume. When blending out our cream makeup, it's important to do it properly. You don't want to smear it and you don't want to buff it in. The key to getting a smooth, even coverage is to tap. Just keep tapping and you'll blend everything nice and smooth. What's great about the white pale face costume look is that it's useful for many different costumes including Dracula, gothic looks, clowns, and in my case this year, serial killer. Specifically, Jane the Killer from the No Sleep podcast. So as you can see, I'm continually tapping to blend and smooth out the makeup. This process will take a few minutes, but it's definitely worth it in the end for a nice even complexion. Once you've finished blending out your first layer of makeup, you may need or want to go back in and apply additional makeup to make the white darker or to fix any patches. Remember, you're going to want to blend into your ear as well as on your neck and down to your collar line. For this tutorial, I did not blend all the way down to my shirt collar and I also forgot my smaller, softer sponge so I wasn't able to blend in the makeup on my ear fully but I definitely recommend having a couple different size sponges handy to get in those nooks and crannies easier. So again, just keep tapping until the makeup is fully blended and smooth to your desire. Once the cream makeup base is complete, you'll use your white powder to set the makeup in order to make it last all night and keep from sliding off your face. Pour out a little bit of your product into the cap or onto a plate. Tap your brush in the powder, and then again, we're going to tap it onto your face. Now, you don't want to breathe this stuff in, so while you're applying it, make sure you hold your breath and close your eyes. When you're ready to take a breath, step back from the cloud. You want to be generous while applying your powder, but you also don't want to make it snow powder. So, we're going to do a little bit at a time and build it up. The best way to test if you've missed a spot is to lightly tap your face. If it feels tacky or sticky in any locations, then you need to continue applying powder. Again, we want to be generous to make sure it has staying power for the whole day. And there we have it, a quick tutorial on how to apply white costume makeup. One last quick tip, when you're ready to wash your face at the end of the night, I recommend simple cleansing facial wipes. These wipes are great for removing stubborn waterproof makeup, yet are great for sensitive skin. Thanks for watching guys!